I only pay the minimum amounts on my credit cards. I haven't been paying them anything. It always ends up leading to an argument. I have no clue. But I know what I spend money on in a week. Dan and I are arguing more than I think we should be. $210 in the account. We're living paycheck to paycheck. That's scary. Everything that's coming in is going right back out again. Things aren't going well. We need to find a way to make a change. I've been married for eight months now, and I am a dance teacher. I drive truck for a living. I work as a carpenter on the side. Recently married with my wife, Wendy, and we have a lovely baby girl, Rowan, who's five months old. I worry about our finances more than Wendy does. My dad used to tease me that um, I thought money grew on trees. There was the wedding, and then there was the first child, and all the expenses that come with both a wedding and preparing a home for a child that has made things really tough. It's more important that I be out bringing that extra money to get us ahead than when he feels that uh, she'd like me home more. I know Dan is tired from working so much. I find sitting down to having a coffee and a cigarette, it helps me to step back and, and try and keep things in perspective. We borrowed some money from an uncle of Dan's and I know it's just eating him up that he hasn't been able to pay him back. We didn't speak to each other for almost four months. I don't have it, and if I don't have it, I can't give it to you. My visa is $2,600. Um, I actually got a letter in the mail today. Basically, it said legal action would be taken. So he, at this point, has no credit, and I have bad credit. Honestly, I don't even really know what to sacrifice to be able to get out of this. This month, I'll help this couple move from red to black. I've been solving money problems for over 20 years, tackling everything from high finance to low income. I help people understand money and debt, which is still a huge mystery for most folks. And it's the number one reason couples split up. So now, I'm making house calls. Dan and Wendy are spending way more than they make. It's a common problem, but not an easy one to tackle. And the pressure is straining their relationship. I'm here to help them out of this mess. Hello! If you don't mind, I'd like to start by having a look around. Is that okay? Sure, no problem. Great. Small kitchen. I wonder how much they eat at home together. Look at the baby stuff. This couple has everything their baby could possibly need, and they have it in three versions. She's a photographer, and she's very good. With Dan's modest income and Wendy on maternity leave, they're spending more than they make, and they're racking up debt. I've looked at your tapes, and I've gone through your finances with a fine-tooth comb, <laughs> and here's what I see. She's lonely. You're desperate. You want to be able to do more. I think that's fair to say. Yeah. The issues are these. You're spending more money than you make. You're not having the home life that you want to have. And ultimately, there is that money that needs to be repaid that's hanging like an axe over your heads, and we need to get that taken care of. So that's what we're going to do. Gail wasn't far off the truth at all with where we are and how we are with each other in our relationship because of our finances. And that, uh, you yeah, <clears> know, <throat> almost made me want to cry. You gave me a budget that showed you were spending about $3,000 a month. Mm -hmm. And that's about $300 more than you make. Yeah. But when I did the assessment, what I found was that you were actually spending about $900 more a month than you make. OK. Wow. I thought we had sort of taken a look at the pages and gone through it and rounded up a little bit just in case. I just can't believe that we're spending that much more. I have some news for you. You should be looking at me like that because it's all about you, buddy. OK. You are currently spending $90 a week on cigarettes and coffee, which amounts to 22% of your net income. The prognosis for you guys 
is if you keep on this track over the next two years, you'll be bankrupt, you'll be divorced, you'll be on welfare with Rowan, and you'll never see your daughter because you'll be working so hard you'll never have time. Wow. This is not going to be easy. Look at me. This is not going to be easy, okay? I need you to promise me that you are going to do this. There's no option. You're gonna have to learn to live on cash. No debit card, no credit cards. And the other thing you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to do some tasks that I set for you. You're successful with the tasks, I'll give you five grand at the end. For every task you don't complete successfully, I'll knock some money off. So I have your commitment moving forward? Definitely. Yeah. Okay. Then you know what? Yeah. Let's make it happen. Okay. The very next thing I need you to do is go and get me your cards. Okay. okay. I need to get up. I need to get up. Coming up. Did you not call Bob and Irene and tell them you were coming? Will these two be able to make the sacrifices necessary to get back on track? Money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. Wendy and Dan are in deep. They owe money to family and are dodging creditors. Still, they dig themselves deeper, spending $900 a month more than they make. For the next month, this couple will learn to live on a strict cash budget. No more credit cards. They'll complete weekly challenges to tackle their money and relationship issues. And if they're willing to change, I'll reward them with thousands of dollars. No changes, no money. You guys got those cards? Great. Excellent. Because you're drowning in debt, we're going to drown your cards. And now, I'm going to show you how to live on cash. Before meeting Wendy and Dan, I went through six months of their finances. The bottom line, they have a small income, but they're spending way more than they make. We're gonna keep your cash here as well. And because you're living on cash, and cash can so easily slide away from you, you have to keep track of everything you spend. So you have 180 for food, 350 for transportation, $100 for clothing and gifts, and $50 for entertainment. Okay. $680 in total. I believe everyone should keep track of their expenses. For Wendy and Dan, it's simply survival. This is the, all the money you have. Get to the end of the month before you get to the end of the money. I feel anxious and nervous. Uh, it means a big change in lifestyle and how my wife and I manage the home or didn't manage the home. The amount that he's spending on coffee and cigarettes is, is very scary. Your job is to quit smoking. Okay but you're not off the hook completely. What I'd like you to do over the next week is I'd like you to investigate ways for you to increase the amount of money you're bringing into the household, okay? By looking at your dance routine, by looking at other options for income generation, maybe you'll be able to find some work that you can do from home. In the back of my mind, I was doing a little bit of a happy dance because it's something that I've been saying to Wendy for a long time that we need to increase our in income and decrease our expenses. And these? Flush them down the toilet. This is going to be really hard for him. Yeah. Done. It's been uh, two and a half days now since I've had a cigarette. And how am I feeling? I'm a little edgy. Oh, look at that. Patch, the gum, right beside pain remievers. Got that one right. Can I talk to you about smoking cessation aids? I'm not crazy about having to work full time. I don't want to be away from my daughter. I spoke with my boss last week about the possibility of a raise. She called me the next day, and first thing she said was, unfortunately, I'm calling with bad news, um, that the answer was no. Um, did I want to stay on at the current rate? In essence, in my task to find more money, I quit a job, which sounds a little backwards. Place the tapered end and inhale in your mouth and inhale deeply and it might work. <clears throat> but you don't get the part afterwards. A $10 a day habit can end up costing over $3,000 a year. And while most of us would like to stay home with our kids, Wendy is in for a reality check. Tell me how your week was. Let's start right there. 
went to my boss about getting a raise, I explained that to her that it just, it would actually cost me money to come to work at this point because of child care and cats. Right. They're not in the position to give me a raise, yes. so I quit. I can't believe she quit her job. I simply asked her to go out and find a way to make some more money. I hope Dan has better news. How did you do on your task? Uh, I struggled at first and yes. then uh, broke down and we went and got uh, nicotine and the other thing that's been working much better. Good. Relaxed. This is a hard thing to do. Don't think I don't know. This oh. is a hard thing to do. There's no question that you see yourself as a provider for this family and that you want to make sure that everybody in this family has what they need. Okay? True. But you can't do it all by yourself. And you know, because you've already said so, that you have yep. a responsibility to bring an income into the household. Yeah. It takes two people to raise this family. Yeah. So your task this week is this. You are going to do 24-7 row and duty on Saturday and Sunday. I would love to. You have to get a job. We're going to put him in your shoes, and we're going to give you the opportunity to go to work and do it with peace of mind. This task requires that they reverse roles. Wendy must find a way to contribute to paying down their debt while Dan reconnects with baby Rowan. Hopefully by the end, they'll figure out what the other does for this family. Do you think this weekend you can find somewhere to work for that extra $50? Because that's about as much as you need without affecting your mat leave benefits. I can try, it, definitely. Okay. Coming up, Dan gets a taste of home life. That to me is completely asinine while Wendy starts to feel the stress of my demands. Money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. Wendy and Dan are now on a strict cash budget. They got off to a rocky start with their first tasks, but this week I'll give them another chance to roll up their sleeves and earn up to $5,000. My task this week is to um, go out and find a job. So I am just updating my resume. I don't want to leave my daughter. It makes me angry. Stand up, stand up. Get my baby go standing up. <laughs> yeah, slobbery kisses. I don't see any upside to this at all. My choice is to be home with Rowan. Luckily, I have four friends right now that are also on maternity leave. Sweetie, Daddy needs to go change his shirt. I went to four different children's clothing stores. Unfortunately, only one right now is currently hiring. There's a good chance that I'll hear back from them shortly. Oh, Mom. That's what she wanted, eh? Had she had dinner yet? No, she hasn't had dinner yet. We haven't had dinner yet. But she had a power nap and a bottle, and she's okay, good. Okay, because she usually gets her dinner between 5.30 and 6. All right. Bye. I find taking care of Roan is a big relief from my work stress. Daddy patting your donut. So how did your day go? Um, it went pretty well. How did you like being away from Rowan and having the day to yourself? You know, I didn't like it at all. I don't think it's fair for someone to tell me that I'm not allowed to spend as much time as I want with my daughter. I know, I'm just saying it could be a good thing, that's all. Not as far as I'm concerned. I'm very excited to hear about how you did this week. You go first. Um, I went out on Saturday mm -hmm. and I handed out some resumes at right. a local mall. Um, there were four different children's clothing stores that I went to. So that's on the retail end. Did you think of investigating any other things that would perhaps let you get some money even a little bit faster? Um, aside from getting a retail job, I'm not sure how else to bring in money any faster. Mm, take kids in, clean homes. Wendy is in denial about their finances. She's decided she's going to be a stay-at-home mom, whether or not they can afford it. How did your week go? Saturday was a fun day. I enjoyed Saturday. Okay. Sunday, she wasn't very fun. No? No. Wendy was getting upset with me because after she got home, it was middle of the afternoon, and she's like, well, Great, you've taken care of dinners and the kitchen's clean, but you haven't done this, this, or this yet. This, this, and this, I did this morning. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. In all fairness to me, I think I have to point out if that... If the floors didn't get mopped, I don't think that's the end of the world. When she's crawling and licking them, yeah, actually it is. I don't place those pressures on her, and it bothers me that she puts those pressures on me. If these two can't work together to improve their situation with my help, 
You had to do what I do every day for two days, just for two days. I fear for the future of this family. I saw the tapes. I thought Dan was having a great time with his baby. And I also saw you being a little bit critical. I try desperately to keep my daughter on a schedule, and I'm sorry, I'm not gonna have anybody tell me that that's wrong. My back's getting up a little bit that you're pointing things out. Okay, that. but what I'm saying to you is it's indicative of the whole problem. It's not just the money. We will deal with the money, and that's where we're gonna go next. So my question to you goes back to, how are you gonna take care of the debt problem? Because the debt problem is not going away by itself. We realize that. This family doesn't have enough money to put food in this baby's mouth right now. Because it's nice to be able to stay home with Rowan and raise her. And listen, I'm there, okay? I've got two kids. I would have loved to have been able to walk into any of those clothing stores on Saturday and say, and by the way, you're hiring me right now. Did you put an ad up in the building saying, I'm cleaning apartments? Did you put up an ad in any of the buildings around here saying that I will do your grocery shopping if you can't get out? Did you get creative? I up to here right now, I need a break. Excuse me. My advice will only help these two if they find a way of bringing in more money. You can't squeeze blood from a stone. What do you think Wendy should be doing? She's got amazing talents and skills as a photographer. Okay, so she has, so these, she has these wonderful talents. She is a fabulous dancer, she's a fabulous photographer. Come on, join us. This is hard because you guys live on a very limited income and you don't have any wiggle room at all. You have to find the way because this is not gonna work itself out. Can I put you on a pot of coffee? It's time to wake up and smell it. I can only help Dan and Wendy if they're willing to change. Sometimes the hardest part is accepting that a change has to happen. Here is your next challenge. This week, what I'd like you to do is I want you to sit down together, figure out exactly how much debt you do have. And having written that number down, then lay down a plan for how you're gonna get rid of that debt. And set a timeline. You know, we can do this in five months, we can do this in seven months, and that's your job this week. Did you have a look at uh, the job postings? Money isn't magic, and there are no quick fixes. Dan and Wendy have to sit down and figure this yeah. out. One was a work from home situation, which would be great. As far as this week's challenge, I think it's the challenge that we're probably gonna get the most out of for the future. I don't wanna see you have to give up photography though, because I mean, your skills and what you can make doing shoots. I worked on that today too. For Wendy and I to get to eye to eye on, on financial matters, I think it happened today. Coming up, Will my advice finally get through to these two? Or are their debt and relationship headed for disaster? Dan and Wendy's debt is piling up. I've assigned them tasks to help them determine how to reduce their debt and rebuild their relationship. So far, my advice has met with some resistance. It makes me angry. I don't want to leave my daughter. Their final task is to come up with a long-term debt reduction plan. Now, uh, why don't you tell me how your week went? The first thing we did was we um, figured out how much we owe. According to my calculations, Dan and Wendy owe nearly $8,000. With their low income and with no plan in place, the debt keeps piling up. And then we thought, well, what if we were to take the the two debts that we have that are affecting our credit rating. Yes. And instead of paying them their 20 and 35%, let's pay them more. How are you coming up with the money you need to make those payments? We're coming up through me going back to work. How do you feel about this? I feel good that, okay, at least there's there's a plan. We have success with this then. Yeah. yeah. Any other successes you want to tell me about? Actually, I had an interview uh, for a new job and I got it, which is gonna give us uh, a raise to $2 an hour. We actually picked up the keys for a new apartment that is 125 less a month than what we're paying here. So all round you have found so, ways to turn. Oh yeah. yeah, because when I got here, and I think I predicted divorce and welfare and um, all sorts of dire consequences, bankruptcy, you were looking at about $1,700 a month worth of shortfall, and we have eliminated that. We have made huge progress. I have something for you. Wendy and Dan are hoping for a check for $5,000. But Wendy did not meet all my expectations this month. So, 
I have a check for $3,000. I just couldn't give them the full amount, but I have something else that will help this family go from red to black. I have a real sense that you have a beautiful talent. I think it is something that you can do that will not only help you become all you can be, but will help the family. For you, I have a digital camera, professional grade. Oh my goodness. Pretty? Yeah. Think you can make this into money? Definitely. Getting a camera is fantastic. I will be able to go out and, and bid for larger jobs now that I just I was, didn't have the capacity to do before. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Mm. Go take some beautiful pictures. I will. $3,000 is still $3,000 oh, yeah. <laughs> that we can desperately use to get ourselves ahead. You take care of yourself? Oh, well. No coffee? No cigarettes? Nope. No. It's been a struggle for these two. But if they stick to their plan, they will have saved thousands and paid down their debt. Dan will be closer to his baby, and Wendy will be able to explore her creative side while adding more to their cash flow. Their future is looking brighter. I wish you guys the best. I know you're going to be able to make a success of this. I know you are. 